So I think the first step is teaching people what's out there because you would be amazed to find out what kind of data you can pull in on an organization. So much data, right? And that's, you know, people see the data, like, oh, this is great data. And then it gets to the next challenge, right? Right, I'm like, all right, what do you do with it? What do you, what do, you do with this data? Okay, that's, that, that's great. I know that they own a green car. I don't know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with that data, right? So you, you need to be able to think about, you know, not just getting the data, but then how you can leverage that data. I mean, we've certainly seen a number of clients that leverage industry information to build regions and segments. But then there are other folks that, you know, just aren't there yet. You know, they have the, they have the data, but they still send, you know, the, the same emails and um, they're on that path. But, they're, you know, they're not there yet because you've got to build the processes, right? Like the data comes in. What are you going to do with the process? Who's going to leverage that internally? And then how, how are you going to, you know, you got to create all the content, right? So if you have seven different personas based on titles and, and regions, well, now you need to have seven different pieces of content times your nurture streams, right? Maybe you have seven emails times seven. You know, there's 50 pieces of content you get got to go ahead and create. And that's... Yeah, that across, the, across the different life cycle stages and yeah. everything. Oh, yeah. Let's add, let, let's, let, let's add life cycle stage in there. Just those two, right? That's simple, right? Now that's five stages, down. 250 pieces of content.